Hey guys, it's Meg and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be filming my what I got for Christmas. So it's actually been a couple days since Christmas. Um, I've been quite busy, I'm not gonna lie. I was planning to film it on Christmas day, but we were going around my aunt and uncles, so I didn't have time. So yeah, <laughs> I've been quite busy over the past couple of days. And for those of you who are new, my birthday's on Boxing Day, so then I'll celebrate my birthday all day when we're doing stuff. And then I've had work the past two days. So today is the 29th <laughs> and it's my first day off. So <laughs> I thought it'd be a good idea to film this what I got for Christmas. You're gonna have to excuse the state of me in this video. My nails are disgusting. I had like false nails on for Christmas and they've all fallen off now and my nails just look rank. I think I've got a cold in me because my voice is quite husky at the moment. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you what I got for Christmas. I love watching these videos every single year. Like I love seeing what people got for Christmas. I find it really entertaining. So that's why I film these videos. It's not trying to show off. It is purely just because I enjoy watching these. So therefore I like making them. Same with any video that I do. I, if I enjoy watching the video, then I will make the video. So yeah, that's the reason that I'm doing this. And also I've kind of been doing it every year on my channel. So I want to keep up the tradition and stuff. If you don't like these type of videos, please click off um yeah so yeah without further ado let's get started i love every single one of my gifts this year my parents did so 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 well and they really know me <laughs> they really do okay so i'm gonna let's just dive into what i got from my parents to start off i'm gonna show what i got from my stocking so i actually don't tend to have a stocking we have it on display but i don't really get gifts in it i did when i was younger but as the years have gone on, I've just kind of had like the presents under the tree. But this year my parents decided to fill out my stocking. This is my stocking, isn't it cute? I love like little knickknacks. Like you could literally get me a keychain and I would love it. Right, first things first, they got me some food. <laughs> so I got Twizzlers. I've never actually tried these, but I love strawberry laces. So I think I'm gonna be in love with these. I got these cookie and cream bites, which I have had before and they are amazing. Cookies and cream is like one of my favorite flavors ever in terms of chocolate, ice cream, whatever. I love it. And then they got me some Sour Patch Kids, which I'm so excited about because I don't have Sour Patch Kids literally ever. I think the last time I had them was about three years ago um, because they are so bad for you. I don't tend to have them often. But yeah, I got some and I have opened them because I have eaten about half the box. So yeah, I love them though. I got some candles. So I got these two candles that came in a set. Love these. I'm redoing my room at the moment and I'm just so excited to put these up because they're all like twisty and stuff. They are so pretty. I love them. And then they got me this little candle holder from Typo, which is so cool as well. It's quite like minimalistic design. I've got one of the candles in the candle holder and it looks so good. Like, look how good this looks. I love it. It so much. Excuse the fur on my jumper because honestly, my dog's melt like there is no tomorrow. So please ignore, <laughs> just ignore the state of me in this video, please. In my stocking, I. <laughs> so my parents love to get me joke presents. Um, <laughs> they got me this. It's a door sign, uh, and you're meant to put it on the door while you're going to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically that. No more explanation needed. They also got me this. They got me a Greg's phone case. I love Greg's. I love sausage rolls. Um, obviously, like Primark have their Greg's collection, so they got me a phone case from it. Am I going to be wearing it on my phone? Probably not, but it's funny and the incentive's really funny. So yeah, got that. Thanks, mum and dad. And the last thing from my stocking, I got this little birthday girl bandana for my little dog. So <laughs> will I wore this on my birthday? Not the whole day, literally just for like photos, but yeah, it's so cute. It's from Typo. This is gonna be like her little birthday bandana for her birthday and also for my birthday. So yeah, super cute. So that was everything that I got in my stocking, was it? Yeah. That was everything I got in my stocking. So now moving on to the presents under the tree. The first thing I opened was actually this. This is a Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose Light. I've seen this for the past six months and Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite Disney movies ever. And every time I've seen it, I've been like, oh, that'd be so cute. Like, wouldn't that be cute? It's like room decor and stuff. Um, so my parents actually bought it for me and it's so pretty. I've always been in love with this rose. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just like the nostalgia of it or it's just pretty, I don't know. So here's what the light looks like itself. It's so gorgeous. It's so pretty and it's quite like simplistic. Obviously it's quite an iconic symbol so you'd know what it is. But like, 
It's not obviously Disney, you know, out of the packaging, apart from it says Beauty and the Beast on the front, but it lights up, it's so pretty, it's like the base lights up, oh, it's so nice. This is going to be perfect for my new room. That's how it looks lit up, by the way. The box isn't a very good example, but this is the vibe we're going for. Okay, next, this is not gonna be in the order I open them up, I'm just gonna pick them up and show you. Next, I got a record. This is one of the records that was on my wish list. My mum asked me to send her a bunch of records that I've been wanting, and <laughs> they said, Honestly, they struggled so much to get the records on my list because they were all sold out and like nowhere had them and stuff. But they managed to get me the Tame Impala Currents vinyl, which I have been wanting for a while. And it's so cool. I love it so much. I can't wait to play it. It's a gatefold as well. I just love the album art. It's sick. It's just a standard black pressing, but the sleeves are so cool. I'm in love with the presentation of it. And here's the yellow sleeve. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so happy when I open this. Love a vinyl to add to the collection. When I opened this, I was not expecting it at all. But my parents got me the Gucci Flora perfume. I have been wanting to smell this for the longest time. And also I was thinking if I don't like the smell, I love the bottle anyway, so it'll be great room decor. But I didn't actually ask for it this year, literally. So I didn't ask for anything this year though. When my parents asked me, what do you want? I actually said, I don't know. I don't know what I want. So just surprise me. Um, but yeah, I was so excited when I opened this. The bottle is gorgeous as well. I was nervous to smell it since I've never smelt it before, but I was like, the bottle's cute. So if I don't like it, it's fine. <laughs> but look at the bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, it's so like vintage and stuff, but the smell, it's so good. If this was a little bit, if this had been a little bit more floral, I probably wouldn't have liked it. But honestly, it's got the like, oh, it's got the correct amount of balance in smell. I just love it so much. And I'm so happy that I love the smell of it. And yeah, there's the lid as well. This is like my first Gucci item. Like apart from like an eyeliner that I got for like 12 pound from TK Maxx. This is my first Gucci item. So I feel very bougie and very lucky to have that. Another thing that I got was a Vivian Westwood item. Again, not expecting this in the slightest. But, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I have to show you. It is, oh my god, like, look at this present. Oh, it comes in this little, like, velvet brown bag as well. Oh, so cute. And it's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. It's so pretty. So I have um, the Vivian Westwood Pearl, like, choker necklace. And I got that for my birthday. Um, but I didn't actually realise they did bracelets. My parents got me this rose gold Vivian Westwood Pearl bracelet. And it's absolutely stunning. I love it so much. They said they tried to get me the silver one, but it's sold out. But you know what? I actually really love the rose gold. I think it's so pretty. I wore this Christmas day and oh my God, I love it so much. And I didn't expect it either. Like I'm so, so grateful. And I'm not wearing it. It just stays in here because I'm too worried about getting it ruined. So it just lives in the mountain of boxes that it comes in. But I like this presentation. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. And the last thing from my parents that I got, Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. So I actually did know about this. Um, I went to London and I went to the Pleasing pop-up store. And I did, well, mm, it wasn't my aim. I, I saw it on Instagram and I really wanted to go, but I was like, oh, I'm a bit busy at the moment. I don't really have time. I'd love to go, but like, you know, London's expensive as well. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just forget about it. But um, I had to go to London for a work thing. And then <laughs> literally, but right next to the building that I was traveling up to London for was the pop-up shop. It was literally right next door. And I thought, what is this? Like, this is pure luck. They knew I was coming, literally. It was the best luck in the world. I was so, as soon as I saw it, like my heart sunk, I was like, oh my God. So I went in there and my mum said that I can pick something for Christmas. And I was like, really? And yeah, so I picked out something from the store. I just forgot to mention that I posted this photo of me being at the Pleasing store and it got reposted to Pleasing's Instagram story. Little bit of a flex, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, when that happened, I was shook. I was, this was literally all I was talking about for like the past three days <laughs> was when this happened. This happened in like, um, like 13th of December, I vividly remember. Um, yeah, so I didn't know about this item. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Regardless, I picked something up from Pleasing Store and I opened it on Christmas. 
I got the pleasing tote bag. I've wanted this for so long, you do not understand, honestly. So I got the brown mesh pleasing tote. It is so nice. It is massive as well. Like it is so big. Perfect for like a beach bag, like a summer bag. I love, this. oh, I love the straps as well. It just says pleasing down all of like the seams, I guess you could call it, with the handles. So you have the two ways to wear. You've got like just the hold all side of it and then you have the crossbody. Again, crossbody strap is like attachable and detachable. So like that, it is just, oh my God, it is such a beautiful bag. I love it so much. Uh, inside here is literally just the pleasing packaging. So I don't want to throw it away. It does have a massive zip, which I really love because I love tote bags with zips. I just love this so much. And I'm so excited to use it when I do. I think I'm going to use it as a uni bag. But I'm too scared to ruin it. So I don't know yet, but I might just save it for a summer bag. I don't know, I don't know, but regardless i love it so so much last but not least i'm going to move on to what my auntie and uncle got me so they gave me money for my birthday but i consider this a christmas present so it's in this bag but there's a reason behind it so my uncle does like 3d printing of like models and stuff and he sent me over a photo and was like oh isn't this model cool and it was like a tom holland spider-man model i was like oh yeah that's sick and then he actually made me one and i was so excited about it and he's like oh i'll, I'll make the base for you and then you can paint it as like a little project for yourself and i was like yes please thank you <laughs> the base still needs to be made um but i've got like the main body of it i tell you what this is so clever like so so clever so my uncle literally 3d printed this and it all like joins together but i'm really excited to like paint it and stuff as like a little project for the summer so it comes with two different heads so you've got just regular tom and then like venom ish like tom you know do you know what i mean you know what i mean and it comes with like the spider-man heads as well normal one and then like a venomous spider-man again and then you've got the arms and you got the spider-man logo which is to go on the base which i just think is so so cool i know in an interview tom holland said that he finds it weird that like people have figures of him but this is actually of spider-man this isn't of him. <laughs> so yeah, this is my Christmas present from my auntie and uncle. So thank you guys so much if you're watching. I'm really excited to paint it and see how it turns out. And then from the rest of my family, like my grandparents, my other auntie and stuff, I got money, which was really, really sweet of them. So if you guys are watching, thank you so much for that. I'm obviously not gonna show the money because I've spent some of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really really grateful for everything that I got this year I was thoroughly spoiled so that is it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like comment subscribe for future uploads I'm gonna film a birthday haul soon maybe now I might film one now <laughs> um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time with a brand new video bye <laughs>